Oh, thank the gods I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I said. Pretty generous offer for an Imperial. Come now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind this citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archeans who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we dispel. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. And maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Someone's sending us a message. What do we do? Follow it. blessing. Will the path to the stone be opened? The oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna, where is she now? The eye of the storm. <sighs> when the covenant is forged, the oracle and ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal.
Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the king of light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. When to the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kayim may serve us now as it did them then. The Hidden Harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Ira set it up. So, in the meantime... We head into the storm. Another day, another deity. <laughs>